Today's a Saturday, July the 1st, so France is literally burning right now. Riots rage in France, 45,000 cops on streets. We are at war, travel warning for tourists. And so I just had a dream last night, so I, I don't... I also had lots of attacks, so this may not be from the Lord, but yeah, it's it was uh, clearly related to this France thing, though, and even I'm going to bring up a dream in the past that I think I had touched on, but I think I may have deleted the video, but last night, um, if this is from the Lord, I'll go ahead and share it. It's like I was, um, there was a final project, we were literally like our group was getting ready to present. It was like a PowerPoint presentation. Um, so this was like, I was in a group of students and we each had separate parts uh, divided up in this presentation. Now the thing is, I realized pretty much right as we were getting ready to present that I was not prepared. Like literally, it was time now to present and I was not, um, I literally, I was not ready. And so I quickly like panicked rush, which I believe just represents it. like we're very short on time guys I rushed I went over to some computers and there was a guy to my left Who from years ago? I used to know his name was um, I think it was Shay Shay and um And um, he was kind of helping me, you know rush and I was really panicking trying to get a few things together And it's weird. I knew my assignment involved like it involved having to um talk about uh the president of france macron it was like french related and it was like centering around the president macron specifically the current president of france which is weird i've never dreamt about him before and so i rush panic 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 and then even the teacher came up and was like you need to like present now you got to go now and I was like, well, can I do this later? And she's like, no. It was a, a woman teacher. And she's like, no, you got to literally now or you're not going to, you're basically, you have to, whatever you've got prepared, you got to do it now. So I had a few things prepared. And then I went up to the front and I started speaking to the class about Macron. And it was like I was describing him based off the few things I know about him. Like he's a white male you know, middle-aged, I was saying he's married to a, a woman who's a lot older than, than him, like the few facts I know about the guy, I don't know much about him, and basically just describing, it's like I had to present about him, that was like the portion I had to present, and then, then I started saying a lot of people believe he is the Antichrist, which is true, a lot of people think he's the Antichrist, but then I was telling the the students in this classroom that it's actually, you know, the Antichrist is Obama. But a lot of people believe it's Macron. And that's pretty much where the dream ended. And I'm like, wow, so I'm seeing this news today. So France is literally on fire. It's spiraling out of control. And if you look back in history, the French Revolution was way more bloody than the American Revolution. In a lot of ways, it was very bloody. So they were literally... uh uh chopping off beheading people like in the middle of the street so it was very bloody the french revolution and to see france spiraling out of control i believe it's it's almost like pointing to literally the, the chaos that's getting ready to hit is the bloodshed it's going to be like the french revolution literally blood will be spilling in the streets globally when this all kicks off and you know especially even during the tribulation but i want to bring up a dream that i had a months and it was a year or two or three ago i brought it up in a video but i think i deleted it in the dream i was a uh, it's like i was on a ship going towards land and as we were going towards land, you know, there were waves coming, decent, side, decent sized waves. We were heading towards land. I don't know where this land was, what country it was. But as we were heading towards land, it's like the ship would change from a, I believe, did it change eventually to like a large truck or vehicle, maybe a military vehicle? I don't know. 
But then as we're heading towards this land, there were troops marching out to sea. And it was, and I knew these were French, French, French troops. And they were dressed in old colonial uniforms. So, you know, the, the British red coat uniforms from the 1700s, bright red. Well, these were um, kind of that style of uniform. Not, uh, I don't think it was a bright red, but they were like in the same era, colonial uniforms, like 16, 1700s Indies. But I knew these were French troops and they were marching out to sea. We were heading towards land in this boat and they were marching the opposite direction. And it would change where I was in the boat and out of the boat. And at a certain point, I was out of the boat, which would switch. It was weird to like almost a truck, maybe a military vehicle. And so at a certain point, I was out of this boat or vehicle, and one of the guys was drowning, one of the soldiers, and I pulled him up out of the water, and his face was blue like he was uh, drowning, like he had, a lack, he had a lack of oxygen. And I believe that's pretty much where the dream ended. So I had brought that up in a video, um, but I think I took the video down, and one of my theories... It was around the time when the whole, uh, I believe Haiti was having a lot of violence. And so Haiti used to be, I believe, a French colony. And I thought, well, maybe this has to do with the situation in Haiti. And I think I just deleted the video. I'm like, who knows, you know. But now that this has got me interested because I've seen other people have had dreams about Um dreams about what's been going on in France so this is definitely something to keep your eyes on it's a uh, it's a very it's a very clear indicator that um you know, things are getting ready to spiral out of control. Because like I said, if you look back during the French Revolution, the extreme violence and bloodshed. And we could see the agenda that Europe, the whole, uh, whole of, you know, especially Western Europe, has uh, um, over the past, you know, 10, 15 years, they've been bringing in a lot of these foreign people from other countries and so now you can see the end result. Now you can see what they were pushing for is extreme chaos in the streets. So this this is a you know a, a preview of what is coming, you know, here in America and, and globally. So it's a few things I wanted to bring up. Just stay strong in the Lord. He has us protected. Things are, you know, we see things are getting really crazy. Like you look at what's going on in France, but there's no reason to have fear. He has us protected and he, he's a, you know, he's going to be taking us home at a certain point, but we need to trust in him and have, you know, perfect faith, faith and patience, a godless in the name of Jesus Christ.